Our first guest tonight is an Emmy, a Grammy, and Tony-winning actress you know from shows such as Sex and the City, Ratchet, and the new HBO series The Gilded Age. She executive produces and stars in And Just Like That, with new episodes premiering Thursdays on HBO Max. Let's take a look. I have a favor to ask, and it involves manual labor and you two coming to Brooklyn. Well, how can we say no? Oh. Oh, no, no, I'm asking, how can we say no? You can't. We need a huge turnout on Saturday to finish painting the women's shelter I've been working on with Naya. And it would be so great if you guys would come help. I'm there, and I'll bring the kids. I'm a really good painter. Carrie? Oh, well, when I was on stage crew in high school, they asked me, please stop painting, so I will happily write a check. You can't be the white lady who just writes a check. If I can paint, you can paint. Please welcome back to the show, Cynthia Nixon, everybody. <laughs> In a studio full of people, no less. So lovely. It's not bad, right? And a band, even. And a band. We did see each other uh, right before we were talking backstage, right before uh, the pandemic. We Late uh, February yes. of, uh, of 2020. Yes. We were at the Penn Awards yes. in New York City, and it was a lovely evening. And a few people were starting to do fist pumps. Right. And I was like, come on, guys. <laughs> And yet here we are a few years later. Yeah, some people are ahead of the curve. Not, not me, but yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Christine Baranski and I were there yes. together presenting an award to Tom Stoppard. And, yes. and you and Christine Baranski uh, are now playing Sisters yes. in The Gilded Age, yes. uh, which is on HBO, which is very exciting. And But when you were first on, on Broadway together, uh, she was your mother. Yes, in 1983, which I can't believe is almost 40 years ago, she was playing my mother. and. Uh, I didn't realize she was really too young to be my mother, but now we're now we're sisters. You and that's, figured it out. That's yeah. good. That's good. You know, right after I feel like maybe the mm -hmm. last time we talked, I saw another very young Cynthia Nixon. I was I had never seen the movie Amadeus. Oh yeah. And you're in Amadeus. Yes. You just yes. show up as yes. a maid in Amadeus. Yes. Yes. That must have been one of your first film roles. Oh, uh, I had been acting about five years at that point. Well, I'm actually. sorry that I've missed the earlier work. <laughs> Little Darlings, you haven't seen Little I've Darlings. Known, I'll put well, it on the list. Well, but um, it was such a big deal for me because. You know, me and my friends, Milos Forman, who directed that, was our yeah. absolute favorite director from Ragtime and from Hair. Um, and I was in 11th grade. And I had already been around the block a little bit. I kind of knew. It was five months in Czechoslovakia. I had never been to Europe. But I said, after, I, after like 6,000 auditions and they cast me, I said, I really want to do this part, but I'm in high school. And could you respectfully, if you don't use me for two days in a row, could you fly me back to New York? And they did. So you went back and forth the yes. whole time? Yes, because I knew, even I'd been around a little bit since yeah. you know, I was 11, 12, and I knew they were just gonna put me in a hotel for months on end, and I was gonna, was gonna be challenging in 11th grade. Yeah. So um, they tested me at first, they flew me out for a 45 minute rehearsal. Really? To see if I balked, and I just, you know, just smiled and smiled, and they flew me back and forth like, Five or six times. You must have gotten so many miles. <laughs> I did. Also, I'm glad you said this. Please don't take this the wrong way. Uh, when you said you were going to be there for five months, you're not in a lot of the movie. No, yeah. that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that was, right. Yeah. But I know I was very, very low on the pecking order, and they're just going to throw me in a hotel room and yeah. forget about me. And a few months later, be like, let's get that girl out of here for that <laughs> one thing. She got that one line. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, the other thing about the last time you were on this show, uh, you were running for governor of, I of this was. state. I and, was. And uh, you didn't uh, win, but the no. guy who did win, things didn't go great for. <laughs> and just like that, Andrew Cuomo was out of a job. <laughs> and, just, and just like that, what a lovely tie-in. What a lovely tie-in. <laughs> um, you, know, you know, the difference between him and me is, is neither of us are, are governor. Yeah. But I still got to keep my Emmys. <laughs> That's true. He didn't even get to yeah. keep his one Emmy. Yeah, yeah. So congratulations on Thank that you. as well. Thank you. So with it just like that, I, I imagine all of you must have been somewhat hesitant to return to this beloved franchise. I think we were hesitant and also very excited. It right. was kind of equal measure because 
of course, we love the show, we love each other, we love our characters, all that. Uh, um, it, but again, to, to, to revisit this show that everybody loves so much, so iconic, and also, I, I guess what my main concern that I kept stating over and over again was, if we go back, it can't be a reboot. It can't just be this same show 25 years, almost 25 years later. We're very different people. The world is different. It was always an unbelievably white show, which was not so cool back then. And is really, we ob obviously definitely have to change that. And yeah. so it was also a chance to hopefully, you know, we got a lot right in that first show, but we got some things wrong and we got a chance to, to go back and change them. You did something that I feel like a lot of people have done in recent years, which is you went back and binged uh, the show yes, yourself. Yes, yes. So had you, uh, were you watching it as it went through? Would you watch each week when you were making the show? Oh, definitely. But had you never watched it like all at once like that? No, Yeah. no. I mean, it was, it was delightful. I mean, I did it, uh, we've talked about it, but I did it with my wife. I'd never yeah. seen it. We binged yeah. it together. And uh, I fell in love with you ladies. I'm gonna just be Aww. honest. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I think that, you know, we were one of those things that people turned to during the quarantine and really, and binged, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that any, it was funny how the shows people found because it was obviously a deeply lonely time. Mm -hmm. And this was, you know, this show has always been about friendship and connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it makes total sense to me that it would be a show that people would, would sort of find comfort in. Yeah. In this difficult yeah. Time. yeah. And, you know, and as we were all locked in our houses too, it's like, you know, a bunch of people strutting around the city, going to fabulous restaurants, <laughs> yeah. and wearing beautiful clothes, and right, doing all the things. And it is such a snapshot of like that era of New York. It wild. is wild. Yeah, wild. Yes, I mean, when you know Matthew Broderick always says this thing when he's walking down the street with Sarah Jessica, and he sees a girl in a particular kind of an outfit and heels, and he always says, "You did that." <laughs> That's your fault. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. To this day, that is very true. One thing that is uh, that you've also changed about uh, this uh, second iteration of the show, uh, the subway. We did not see much of the subway uh, in the first Sex in the City. Maybe never even once. Yeah, I think there was Carrie. What? Carrie for about thirty seconds briefly flirted with taking a bus. Right. And then someone said to her, "You're on the bus. Why do you have to take the bus if your photo is on the bus?" And she was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I certainly, you know, I, in non-COVID times, I'm on the subway every day. In COVID times, I'm on the subway maybe once a week. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, I always felt like Miranda, you know, Miranda works in Manhattan. She she lives in Brooklyn. I, yeah, I, I she assume, was probably on the subway. I think she was on the subway, but we never showed it. We just so, never showed it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a different era now. People yeah. want to see, people deeply want to see the subway. They want to see the subway. Because let me just say something about New York City. <laughs> if you've never been here, the subway is better than it's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now, uh, you know, you have two shows uh, on at the same time, and they both take place in New York uh, with a 140-year uh, time gap. Yes. Uh, so, so the Gilded Age is, is late 1800s, uh, New York City. Are, do you enjoy that uh, costume drama -y, uh, type of show? I do. I mean, it's, you know, the, the corsets are not really your friend. Right. They're your adversary. Sure. Um, but certainly the clothes are amazingly beautiful and the wigs and all of the, I mean, all of the sets. And then we shot in a lot of real historic mansions in Troy, New York and in Newport, Rhode Island. And I mean, it's gorgeous to look at. And it's a period not unlike our own where you have these, now they're, you know, then they were millionaires who appeared out of nowhere because of the industrial revolution and the railroads and business was booming. and you know, they built these palatial mansions. Now we have these billionaires who appear out of nowhere because of the tech boom and they're, you know, visiting outer space and yeah. stuff. So it's similar, kind of like people with so much money, they really just don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with yeah. it. At least 140 years ago, they built houses that are still here. I yes. don't know like what this space thing is gonna <laughs> give us. <laughs> uh, I have one thing I gotta say. Um, we've talked about Steve in the past. Yeah. Um, Steve's not having a great time in the new show. <laughs> He's not. Yeah. You know, I love Steve. I love Steve, too. I feel like, I don't know why you guys did him like that. Oh. And part of it is, you know, that I have a very good Steve impression. <laughs> Would you like to share it with me? I would like to. Would you like to share it with all of us? Well, I'd just like to share it with you, but if they want to watch. Okay. Okay. Ah, Miranda. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>
It's very you're there, good. You're very good. Very good. You're a very good actor. If I was blindfolded, I would never know it was not David. You guys, that is Cynthia Nixon. And just like that, and the Gilded Age are both available now on HBO and HBO Max.